Hey, compassionate people. Welcome to Vegan News. Let's dive right into today's stories. A woman being called the vegan Bernie Madoff, Sarma Mangalis, has defrauded investors to the tune of $844,000. She operated a restaurant called Pure Food and Wine in Gramercy, New York City, a vegan restaurant in which she stole the money from investors and also did not pay her employees to the tune of $40,000, along with her state taxes to the tune of $400,000. She faces up to 15 years in prison if convicted, but it's looking like she's going to get about one to three years. In environmental news, the U.S. and Canada have moved to ban offshore drilling in Arctic waters. President Obama used an old 1950s era law called the Outer Continental Shelf Act. The oceans now off limits to the oil and gas companies are about equivalent to 31 Grand Canyons full of water and would stretch from the top of Maine all the way down past Virginia if they were in that area to give you some idea of how much is actually being preserved through this executive order. Now there there's a possibility that when the new administration comes in this executive order could be terminated, struck down, uh, but let's hope that's not the case. Delicious food news, Veggie Grill, a chain based on the west coast of the United States is going to be expanding from its current 28 locations into many more locations nationwide all across the United States with a $22 million bump from investors. Bill Gates is already heavily invested in the company and sees a future in plant-based meats, which is why Bill Gates also is an investor in Beyond Meat. And Beyond Meat is now going to begin carrying products at Veggie Grill. So that's even more good news. And uh, looking at their prices, it looks like they're pretty cheap. I haven't had a chance to try it myself, but uh, I'm definitely interested when I get on the road. Their fish tacos range from $3.50 to $11.50 for a couple a piece. And in lobbyists trying to derail the plant-based movement, vegan movement news, 25 members of Congress are rallying the FDA to make it not legal for plant-based companies to call plant-based milks milk. They want that word reserved for the mammary fluid types. And of course, dairy lobbyists are behind this move because as we reported on earlier the other day, dairy sales of, of traditional mammary fluid dairy are falling drastically while almond milk just in the past uh, five years alone was up 250%. So this is only going to put more pressure on them, especially since it's a subsidized thing. And we can expect to see more of this. Hopefully it doesn't pass. Uh, I will put some links down below to these particular congressmen that you can contact through email or even on their Facebooks and put some pressure on them. A new clip of Anthony Bourdain on his show, No Reservations, shows him, well, let's just cut to it. They get the duck, yeah, then they reach inside and grab the, grab the intestines and yank them out of the live duck. Oh, yeah. Uh, supposedly, they give you the most fresh. But it's a bit cool, right? Yeah, well, you want them fresh, yeah, right? I mean, yeah. Chill. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty terrible. He's bragging about how much, how, how much more delicious the duck, whatever organ he's eating, I think it's a liver, is because of the cruelty. Uh, recently, at one of his speaking engagements, he was di disrupted by a vegan activist. Uh, here's the video of that. I, you 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 that word, that you Anthony, I have a question for you. You're a pig. You publicly refuse. Yes, Anthony. Yes. Dean, you publicly refuse to eat dog meat because you That's care about dogs. And he clearly has no regard for any 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 being outside of himself. He brags about that he'll kill a puppy, and his audience laughs. And he 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 is a despicable human being. And I'm I I try to give him the benefit of the doubt for a long time, uh, but I think we need to put some pressure on him. We need to put pressure on. The people airing his show and getting him messages on his social media accounts and disrupting his speeches like we've just seen. It's the only way that the message is going to get through. He's not going to listen otherwise. He'll, he'll probably never listen. He already has uh, many speeches online that you can look up and I'm not going to share here where he rails against veganism and vegetarianism, calling it a privilege of 
first world countries because most of the world actually does eat a vegan diet just because it's cheaper and more available. As always, thank you for joining me. Give, it, give us a like, subscribe. Links to all the news stories are down below. And have a great day. Oh, one more thing. There'll be a link down below to a local organization here that saves uh, cats, dogs, even cows, and other animals. And they could use your help with some donations. So share it or donate, whichever you can do, or both. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Uh, I've gone out of my way to avoid cat and dog, but um, you know, if you ask me ahead of time, hey, you know, it's very popular here, let's stop by the dog restaurant, I'm going to say no. Uh, it's hypocritical of me. It's an arbitrary decision.